Hey, hey, it is Zenny Old Gamer, and today we're going to be kicking off a new series that I'm calling Auto Win Teams. So these are going to be teams that give you at or near 100% win rate as long as you use them and build them correctly in Guild War and Siege. Now, that qualifier right there is really important, and we'll talk a little bit more about how you can use them incorrectly later. But I just want to let you know how these videos are going to go. So I'm going to show you the monsters. I'm going to show you how to build the monsters in the optimizer. And then we're going to go take them into Guild War. And we're going to talk specifically about where you should and should not use them. And what attack sequence you should go with in order to make sure you have the best result. Today we're talking about Copper, Dozer, and Imiceti. It's one of the oldest but still one of the greatest comps out there. Uh, it uses two three-star monsters, and the reason we're doing this one today is because there's a Hall of Heroes coming up soon, so if you don't have Imiceti, you can have him in a few days. There are other comps that you can use with Bulldozer. Amelia, Fenyang, Olivia, a lot of different monsters work with Bulldozer, a lot of different comps work with Ignore Defense. This is the one that I use. Now, if I had Fenyang, I would probably use a slightly different comp. I don't have him. But I have always preferred the Imiceti Dozer Copper comp over Olivia because Imiceti can give a 30% crit buff, which lowers the rune requirement for your Bulldozer and your Copper, so it allows you to put more damage in them. Anyway, just throwing it out there, I know that there are other comps that you can use with these monsters, but the idea of this video is to walk you through building one specific comp that I know will be reliable and show you how to use it. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So let's, so let's start off looking at this team in Guild War so that we can get a basic understanding of what we're trying to build towards. Now, if we were to look at, for example, this team right here, if I were to bring in my Copper, Dozer, and Massetti team, I would get outsped by the Ciara. The Daphnis and the Orion both had strip and defense break, and I would just get killed. It would be the wrong place to bring it in. On the other hand, if I bring it in against this Jean Perna Skogel, I'm probably not going to get outsped. My Imiceti is going to be faster than any of those monsters likely are to be. And even if I do get outsped, it won't matter because I've built my team correctly and I have all will runes on it. My Copper hits for just under 60,000. My Bulldozer hits for just under 50,000. Now those numbers are also really important. Because when you decide what enemies you're going to bring it into, you need to know what their normal HP ranges are. So usually at G3 level Skogel, you need your copper to be hitting over 60,000. But in lower Guardian tiers, most Skogels are going to be in the lower 40,000 HP range, maybe 45,000 at the most, with a shield set, maybe 47,000. So if there's no HP lead and your copper is doing even like 48,000 damage, you'll probably kill most Skogels at Guardian 1 guild content levels and below. And then obviously the higher you go up, the better rune the Skogels will be, the better runes your copper needs to be. Now Jeans typically max out around 40k. Again, sometimes in the highest tiers you'll see a Jean reach 50k. But usually we're going to see Jeans at about 40k. So knowing that, and especially as you can see, we're facing a farming guild right now because it's early in the week. So I know this isn't going to be a well ruined team. I know my bulldozers 50k is enough to kill Jean. I know my copper 60k is enough to kill the Skogel. So I feel safe going into this team. Okay, so as expected, I did wind up taking first turn. Now you can see from the attack bars, it was actually pretty close that Jean is just within a couple of speed of me. But you can see, because I have full will, it wouldn't have mattered. There's no strippers on the enemy side. Now that's a huge part of this team. If you take this team in against an enemy that's likely to have a fast stripper, you're probably going to lose. But because there's no strippers, even if the Jean tried to provoke, nothing would have happened. Now, that Skogel could be on violence, so he's the biggest threat for me, which means I'm going to go ahead and kill the Skogel first. Because the Skogel will have more HP than the Jean, I'm going to boost my Copper. We'll go ahead and use our skill 3 on the Skogel. We hit for 60,500, the Skogel's dead. Now Jean provokes, but my bulldozer still has his immunity up, and he can go ahead and do his 50,500 damage. Jean is gone, and now I can pretty much just auto out. Now let's go take a look at how you build the actual team. 
Okay, we're gonna start off with your Imiseti and we're gonna look at him in the optimizer. Now there are a couple of different ways you can build your Imiseti. Some people like to just put him on Swift and make him as fast as possible and there's value in that because it just means you can outspeed the enemy team. You can also just build him really tanky so that he can take a hit and then it doesn't matter how fast he goes. Now, I personally chose to go with uh, the tankier build, and I wouldn't say he's slow at 246, but there are some teams that'll outspeed me. You saw that John in the first example almost outsped me. Uh, so I went a little bit on the slower side, and I gave him double determination runes because that boosts the damage of my copper and my dozer. Now, I know a lot of you guys may not have determination runes. They're not essential. Um, it was just a nice little buff. You could put him in a triple two set. You could put him in swift. You could put him in despair. It... You could put him in a full-on broken set. It doesn't matter as long as he has will. That is the one thing he must have is will runes. And obviously he needs to be faster than your dozer and your, your uh, copper, but they're going to be super slow anyway. So ideally he is going to be at least about 235 speed in the higher guardian levels of content because you're not using a speed lead and it is nice to be able to outspeed the enemy and kill one monster and not take that hit. At 260, 270, you gain maybe a couple of extra teams that I'm not using, but honestly, at 200, he's probably fine as long as he's tanky enough because your dozer and your copper are defense-built based monsters as well, so the whole team can take one round of hits to start off fairly easily. So when we put him in the optimizer, we can just put in whatever sets we want right here, or if you don't want to do that, you can just go ahead and put in Will. Now you're probably gonna wanna put him on speed and then these runes over here can really be basically anything. You could even put him on an offensive build if you wanted to. As long again as he could take the, those first hits, I'd want him to have at least about 120,000 effective HP. Over here, we're gonna put in our speed, our defense, our HP. It is nice to have a little bit of accuracy because his skill two can reduce attack bar and add slow. We'll go ahead and put our plus 15 right over here. And if you don't have a ton of mana, Go ahead and click this max plus 12 for slots one, three, five, just so that the game knows exactly what you're gonna be maxing. It doesn't have to be a high efficiency rune set whatsoever. Go ahead and hit optimize, and then you can just pick from the sets that you have. Okay, so your dozer is gonna be in defense, crit damage defense. Now he's most commonly in rage, but again, it's not necessary. It just helps because he is a crit damage scaling monster. Uh, well, he's a defense-based monster and his damage scales really well on crit damage, so it helps to have him in rage, but if you have huge crit damage subs on other runes, that's fine too. So you can use whatever sets you want, just again, as long as he must have one set of will runes. And then we're going to come down here into this settings cog. We're going to program in our full power punch. We're going to hit max skill ups. He's a three star. If you don't have max skill ups, then you um, <laughs> need to go max his skill ups. Uh, so we're going to hit max skill ups. We're going to use a defense buff because you're getting that from Imiseti. We are going to use a defense lead of 22%, which he does for himself. And then you're going to make sure this thing over here is marked crit because we want to make sure he crits. And we also want to click on this ignore defense up at the top. Last thing you want to do is click use guild war buildings because this is basically a guild war comp. So we'll go ahead then and just hit apply. And you're going to see down here, it brings up my damage at 23,329. Now remember, full power punch is two hits. So if it's easier for you to just see a full number, all you actually have to do is change the multiplier to 320%. And we get to see the total damage that we do. So for me, it's 46,659. Now you just watched a fight where I did over 50,000. Why is that? It's because I have those determination sets. I have two on Imaseti and one on my copper. So if we add in that 24%, we could actually just put our leader skill to 46% over here, and then you would see a much more accurate number down here. Now, assuming you're not using determination sets, you leave your defense lead at 22, and you can see your damage over here. Now you'll notice up here, I've put crit as a minimum of 70, and that is literally it. That's the only thing I did. It's the only thing I care about. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to sort by damage and I'm going to look for the highest build and <laughs> look at that. I actually just found a higher build. Now again, 
your dozer really only needs to get to about 42,000. That would be my target damage would be 42,000 damage. Most Trianas cap out around 40, 41,000 HP. There are some that go higher, but usually that's going to be in the highest levels of guild content, at which point you're not going to have problems getting your dozer up to a, a higher amount of damage. So if you can get your dozer to 41, 42,000, you're going to be fairly reliable. If you can't and you're a little bit lower, again, it kind of depends on your stage of game as to what your exact target needs to be. Now, the last monster we're going to do is our Copper. And we're going to go through basically the same process, except that Copper doesn't always have to be on Rage. Now, some people do put him on Rage. A lot of people do. But honestly, you do have to remember, this is very important, you have to remember about Copper's third skill and the qualifier on it which is that if the target's defense is lower than half of yours, you ignore defense. So you must be double the target's defense. Now, of course, we're getting a defense lead and a defense buff, but even so, you can't copper defense-based monsters. Like, you can't copper a Tyrannus, because a lot of them are built with 2,000 defense. You're not going to double that. And then you want to make sure that your defense is high enough. So for that reason, I'm going to target to get to at least about 1800 defense down here. Now, again, kind of depends on stage of game. If you're in an earlier stage of game where monsters aren't as well built, your number might be lower. For G2, G3 level guild content, 1800-ish is my, my goal here. And when you do that, you find that it can be a little bit harder to build that set in Rage, unless you just have huge defense subs and great defense runes. But it can be easier to do in something like Guard. So again, with Copper, all you need to make sure is that you have Will Runes. Uh, we're going to be in Defense, Crit Damage, Defense. Our focus down here, we don't really need a Speed Focus. All we care about is Defense, Crit Rate, and Crit Damage. And we can actually boost the Search Depth on the Defense a little bit if we want to. We bring that up to 2. Now, I will tell you a little t um, just quirk of the Optimizer is the more Focus stats you actually put in, if you notice, the estimated builds just went up on the side, so it does really help to just give it more focus stats. So even though we don't care so much about the speed, we're going to go ahead and put in speed and HP because that just creates more possible builds. Because it's a really low number of builds, we're going to put a search depth much higher, so we're looking at the absolute maximum number of search depth builds. Um, and then, of course, again, you just put whatever sets you're looking for. So you can either go with Will only, if that's all you've got, or you could also try and look up Rage Will. And then the last thing we're going to do is come in here, and we're going to look at Thunderstrike. We're going to max our skill ups again. We have all the same stats of everything else, and we hit Apply and re-optimize. We'll see that. I am actually in my single best possible build right now. Okay, so that's how you build this team. Now with the copper, um, I mentioned earlier the ranges that you're looking for. Usually you just want it to be um, strong enough to kill the Riteshes and the Skogels in your stage of game. So um, you're going to want it to try and do like 50, 51,000 damage for lower guardian levels and scaling up from there. And now let's take a look at a few more guild battles and where you should and should not use it. So here's a great example of a place you do not want to use this team. We have to kill the Eladriel first, otherwise he'll just resurrect the Molong. So if we kill the Eladriel first, the Molong is going to get to cut because our Dozer and our Copper are both very slow. This is assuming the Molong doesn't outspeed our Immaceti. But let's just say our Immaceti goes first and he boosts the Dozer. The Dozer kills the Eladriel. Molong could then go, and if Molong derps and strips, and strips the copper, you lose your defense buff and you won't be able to kill them along. Or he could reckless assault and then the Perna will kill your bull bulldozer and you're gonna lose a monster, you're gonna lose your ability to kill that Perna. So if you were to bring your copper dozer team in here, you would lose in pretty much all situations, whether he derped or whether he didn't. Now here's a place where you absolutely would not bring it in because you're definitely gonna be outsped and then that Odin has ignored defense so it's just gonna rip you apart. So here's another, this is another team where that Lauren is going to strip in defense break, the Vert is going to turn cycle, and you're probably going to wind up losing. So basically what we're looking for is an enemy team that has no strip, or that the stripper is slow and can be killed early, and then it has no death prevention, or that the death prevention can be killed early. So this team, for example, Rakan, this used to be a great team to Copper Dozer, but now that Rakan strips, it forces you to kill Rakan first. 
And if your dozer is not strong enough to kill a Rakan, and a lot of Rakans are going to be at 45k HP, so if your dozer is not strong enough to kill Rakan, then you should not go into this team because Copper has attribute disadvantage. So this is a perfect final fight right here because I talked earlier about the Triana Skogel. So we're going to go ahead and go Copper into that Triana Skogel right now. And again, we have to make sure we kill the Triana first, and we have to kill the Triana with our Bulldozer because we're going to need the bigger damage on our Copper. Now, there is one more thing I didn't mention in the builds. If you have the rune quality, and only if you ha have the rune quality to get these monsters up to about 17, 18,000 HP a piece, you really should do it because what that protects you against is a Skogel proc. Uh, ideally, they would actually have 20, but it is tough to, you know, get everything. So if you could at least get that 17, 18,000, 18,000 HP each means that for a Skogel to kill you, it would have to have over 54,000 HP. So if that Skogel had procced the rock, I would have survived. I'd be very low health, but I would have survived. So now we'll go ahead and kill the Skogel because he didn't proc. And then we're just going to have to obviously wait until I can full power punch the Kamun again. Um, in theory, my Copper could also kill that Kamun, but with the attribute disadvantage, we're going to be trying more to do it with our Bulldozer. Now we're going to wrap up with one last thing. This is an old comp I used to use in Arena. This is not a comp I recommend. I just want to be clear. It's a comp that you can get away with um, if you don't have anything faster but you have to be very selective about the enemies that you face. So for example, Juno, act, uh, Juno absolutely wrecks this team because there are so many buffs. Praha does too. The only reason I'm taking this in against the Praha is because I'm going to target that Praha first, still leaving me a little bit vulnerable to the Rakan. But because I know my Bastet's going to outspeed anything on the enemy side over there, we were able to attack Bar Boost. Now we're going to go ahead and boost our Copper and we're going to use the copper to kill the Praha so that the enemy can't do the AoE strip on us. We'll go ahead and try to take out this Rakan, which we were able to, fortunately. And so from here now, we're just going to be waiting until we get a chance to, um, to boost our monsters again. So as you can see, this is not the fastest AO. Um, I used this a very long time ago when I was in C1, and it was a different meta then. It was a little bit faster and a little bit more consistent against the defenses that we had at that time than against the defenses that we see these days. But it is still a, a pretty decent team that will get you if, you, if you attack selectively, it'll get you a lot of wins. Probably still fairly reliable. I would think it's C1 and maybe C2 levels as well. <laughs>